Hi guys and welcome back to our family channel and today we have a house for our little pets and I just wanted to show you it guys. So it's all Christmas decorated since it's near Christmas. So first we have a cute little couch where our supreme pet is sitting plus a rug. And they're all so cute. So soft, I love it, and cuddly. Mwah. They can take little naps if they like. Woof, woof! This is really, really nice. I might just relax on here. That's a good idea, something pet. And this is our cute Christmas tree with the presents. Look at all those big presents and the little ones too. And then we have a picture of our supreme pet. And some cute little decorations on the wall, such as a little Santa saying ho ho ho. Some little presents and some wreaths, some stars, and a king king. And then we have the biggest wreath, plus a window. And then we have a fireplace. And then there's a snowman stocking. So much. And then we can see our cute reindeer. A green stocking. Another snowman. Another little tree. And a other red stocking with white polka dots. Then we have Mr. Snowman. And the way we got the background is from the Supreme Pet Box. And that's how we made the wall and the chimney. You can see some little logs in there. Okay, so that was the video for today. Uh, I made a house from the uh, Supreme Pet Box. I got the box when I got the uh, Supreme Pet. And um, if you want to know how to make something like that, just keep watching the video until the end and um, I left a uh, DUI tutorial over there and uh, I think this is really cute anyone can do it and it's great for the uh, little pets he's the supreme pet on his couch he's just relaxing over there and his friends are over here in front of the fireplace and next to the Christmas tree so uh, I hope you like this video and if you like it please like comment subscribe and if you try to do it it's not that difficult thanks for watching if you want to uh, learn how to do it just keep watching the video bye well hello today i'm going to try to make a house with this lol supreme pet box it's a really cute box and it's a shame to throw it away so i'm gonna see if i can make a little house for the yellow pet so let's start working the first thing i'm gonna do is to cut out the uh, the top the top part because i'm not gonna use it i'm not gonna need it after cutting up the top part look what we got Okay, so as you can see, the inside of the box comes out. And now we have two parts. This part, which is the empty box, and that is the inside. Look, we open it, and now we're going to make a room over there. So right now, I cut the big box, and I'm going to try to glue this on top of that. But before, I'm going to put some paper, some scrapping paper on top of that garden and over here I have a scrapbook and paper for the floor so I'm just going to glue that into the uh, cardboard get a glue stick purple put it all over the cardboard okay glue it With, with the cardboard. Okay. 
Now we do the same thing in here on this side. Blue. All the place. And more glue. Now when we're done with the glue, we'll plastic over here in the window it's going to be made right there so I have to cut this plastic the size of the window so I marked the window with a ruler six by five now I'm going to cut it out so I cut the window and here you go <laughs> here's the window now we need to cut the plastic so we can put the plastic over there on the window. So here's the plastic and here's the cardboard. And of course you have to cut the plastic bigger than the cardboard. So you're gonna have to do like seven by six, which is one inch or one inch uh, bigger than the cardboard. Now you just get a piece of white paper and you get a ruler and you get a few strips for your window. You make a few lines and then you cut them out. Okay, so now we're gonna glue the window to the back of the paper. So we're gonna use clear glue. You can use a glue gun if you like to. The tin glue gun is better because the tin will stay on better sometimes. This type of glue don't work that well. well. Let's try it. Let's see. Yep. This is nice. Okay. Then you have to let it dry. Now you get your little piece of paper and you're going to do all that all over the window. And there you go. There's the window. The window is really low because the uh, LO pets are really small. So we can't make something big. It had to be low. I mean, we can't make something really higher. Then we're going to be able to look up the window. Like I say, now the window has some trim over here too. So I put some paper around the window for trimming. Okay. So you just glue it very well. And your window is down. Now we're going to make a little chimney. So here we are. We're going to make a fireplace with that piece of cardboard over here you can use anything you like you just flip it and then you can just mark in the middle make a hole in the middle as big as you like let's see i'm gonna make it let's see run here this is like four four After you mark it, yes, you want to cut it out. So here we go. I already cut these pieces out. And this is how we're going to start our fireplace. So I need to cut two pieces for the side. They're going to be one and a half inches long. And now we need to cut few pieces for the top part of the chimney. So what you do now is you're going to glue these ones on top of the other one for the top part of the chimney. So I cut like four pieces. So you're going to glue them together one on top of the other one. Just like this. On top. And glue it together. And over here I have like three together. So they're like four. And you glue them together. Now we're going to glue the two little sides over here, okay, on the side. Okay guys, so this is the fireplace. Look how cute it looks. It's not perfect, but this is the back. You don't have to worry about the back. So in the meantime, you need a piece of black paper. 
I didn't have any black paper. I had white paper, but I, I put some uh, uh, black tape on the white paper. And you can either glue it to the wall or just put it like that. And then move your fireplace to the back. And here you go. Here's your fireplace. That it look adorable. Looks really good. So let's keep going. So this is how the looks, how the house looks so far. It looks really cute. The fireplace, the Christmas tree, and the presents. And now Bella's gonna glue something over here so we can hang that ornament over there. Look at that. No wreath. <laughs> yep, isn't that adorable? But we're not done, so let's get this piece of cardboard over here looks like a bench, doesn't it? I just bend one side, a little one like this. I'm gonna try to make a bench, and I'm gonna cover the bench with this fabric, okay? Okay, so, this over here is the bottom of the box. And now, that I'm almost ready, I'm just gonna glue it right here, okay? it down so this can glue to the floor pretty well okay and I did the same thing with the uh, fireplace I'm gonna glue that to the bottom and put it right here okay. so now the floor I mean the uh, walls and the fireplace are glued to the floor. So they're gonna stay over there. Okay, so to make the chair a little bit higher, or the couch, I decided to cut three pieces of foam board. They are uh, 15 inches long by six. And I glued the glue them together. And then I'm gonna put this on top and it's gonna be a little bit higher. Okay, so here's the little couch. It's a small, but it looks really nice. Remember the uh, beds are small, so we don't have to make anything really big. This over here is a little uh, picture of the pad. And we're gonna put that picture right here on the wall. We're gonna glue it, the glue behind the picture, and just glue it on the wall. So over here we have some little sticks. We're gonna put the sticks inside the fireplace. And look how it looks. It looks like a little fireplace. I mean, some wood for the fireplace. It looks really nice. It's a little detail. So to make thing looks a little bit more Christmas, I'm putting these two little things in here with tape. Put it in the back. And that's it. We have a little bit more of the Christmas stuff. Now, we're going to put these little stockings, look how small they are, right here. You can find them at the craft tour, okay? Okay, so I put some Santa Claus stickers over there and some little presents. All of those are little stickers. And I think it looks adorable. I love the couch over there. And now, we're going to do something to put on from the fireplace. So, over here we have a math a white math for the house so we can put it in front of the fireplace and there's another one over here we can just put that one over here next to the uh, chair next to the couch so in case you want to snuggle so I think the house looks really cute now we need the uh, the uh, the little uh, pet okay so we're done we our supreme pet little holiday living room it's a living room and uh i hope you like this video i try to do my best and be creative and i love the rug in the middle of the uh, living room and here it is he's sitting on his couch next to the window and he loves it he's a little thing <laughs> and uh, uh, everything looks really nice so I think some of his little friends wants to enjoy the place too hi can I come in please shh, 
Sure. You're welcome to come. Can I come in too? Here's the little one, the other one. Oh, one more. Can I come in too, please? Yep, all of them wants to come in. And they're really welcome. Let's see how cute they look on top of here. Oh, how adorable. What about here? Oh, how cute. <laughs> what about there? Oh my goodness, they look so cute. So, I hope you like this video. And if you do, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe.